But more concessions, but not panic, from federal health officials regarding the Zika virus in a Miami neighborhood. CDC Director Dr. Tom Frieden says the mosquito control efforts aren't achieving desired results. We also don't yet have ideal ways to control the particular mosquitoes that spread Zika, and we need better methods and tools for mosquito control. Dr. Frieden adds that he doesn't expect major outbreaks in this country in part because of better sanitation and the use of things like air conditioners and window screens. Well, what exactly can we expect? We're joined now live by Steve Moore, known as Mosquito Steve. He's based in the Dallas area and makes mosquito repellents. Steve, good morning. The CDC doesn't expect these widespread outbreaks. Do you believe them? I actually do believe them, yeah, on that point. There's a lot of stuff I don't believe, but that I do believe. All right, and and why is that? Why should we believe that that this is just kind of contained in, in very local neighborhoods? Well, the the difference is, like, for West Nile virus, that um, is carried through the Culex mosquito, and the Culex mosquito uh, will then um, infect a bird, and a bird will fly, and so that, that helps it travel. Zika doesn't travel that way, so it's only carried from human to human, and so uh, so it should just stay in that one little one-mile area. Now, there will be other outbreaks, but they all should be, you know, localized, very similar to this one. Okay, but we don't seem to be figuring out ways to get rid of these mosquitoes. Well, I have uh, I've tried to contact some people. Um, you know, we've I've been preaching about this for a long time. Uh, when I first got in the business, I was spraying the same kinds of things that they're spraying now, and um, and I was seeing the resistance then. And so that's when I started developing natural products that actually work more effectively than chemicals. But there's this you know um, uh, closed mindedness in the industry. Uh, pest control guys that they don't want to believe that a natural product could actually work better. All right, so I, I saw and uh, read a story earlier on the program about how these things can breed in something as small as standing water in just a bottle cap. Yeah, a half an inch. Half an inch of water is all it takes. So if you've got the corrugated downspout uh, coming away from your house, um, if there's a little bit of water standing in there from your sprinkler or something like that, yes, yeah, it can grow in there. We're hearing a lot these days about mosquitoes indoors um, where people, they've, they've gotten inside and, and they go and they lay eggs in the pea trap. And uh, they're breeding indoors. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, they're they're going to outlive us. Uh, they'll probably outlive cockroaches. <laughs> We're joined live <laughs> this morning by Steve Moore, known as Mosquito Steve. He's in Dallas. He makes mosquito repellent. So you think that uh, the stuff that you make could stop these mosquitoes? Well, I do, and so and what makes uh, my product different is I actually go outside and I test the, the product on mosquitoes. Um, most of the, the information these guys get is in a lab, and while I understand what they're doing in a lab, uh, mosquitoes outdoors are different than they are when they're raised in a lab. And so I test all my products. I've actually had as many, more than 900 mosquito bites in one night um, as I go out and test this stuff and count mosquitoes every night to make sure, you know, what works, what doesn't, how long it works. And so I've tested all their products as well as mine. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. (laughs) Is there something wrong with you? There is a lot wrong with me. There really is. There's <laughs> well, once, but 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 I mean, at least in my simpleton view, right? Once we get rid of this particular mosquito, if we do, there's just going to be another one that that beats these repellents until we figure out a new repellent. Exactly. That's why it really comes down to personal responsibility is what it is. It's if everybody will take care of their own yard and their own standing water and they'll do they'll spray. My stuff is a repellent, so we don't actually kill them because we found that killing, you know, is just not effective and so we just repel them and push them away. And um I, I mean we need mosquitoes, unfortunately, you know, birds and lizards and frogs and uh bats all eat them and so we we don't want to kill them and we don't want to kill those other um the other fauna so i think it's important to just take personal responsibility well repellent that's what you should be doing if you're in florida right now wear repellent every day all the time yeah very good hey thanks for sharing the insight nice talking to you steve moore known as mosquito steve it's 20 minutes now in front of the hour on this morning america's